One thing, one thing that I'm excited about is, is uh, I feel like we're going to have an advantage with physicality. Uh, Murray's, Murray's a, uh, a air raid offense. In other words, they like to, like Steve said, they, they spread the ball around. Their offense is predicated on quick passes, um, getting the ball side to side to their playmakers. Um, and then, and then, you know, if you can make them one-dimensional, you know, stop the run, then usually you've got a chance to, to get after them. So, I feel like uh, our advantage is going to be on the on the offensive defensive line, just just size-wise, um, and and we'll see if we can expose them in that way. One thing I want to guard against is is, and I talked to our players about this is uh, looking at scores, scoreboard searching, and us as coaches are the world's, world's worst. Um, they lost last week, and you know, to a to a Southern Illinois team that's a pretty good team out of the Missouri Valley. Um, you look at that score, and you say, "Well, you know, Murray's not very good." You know, you look at the score we had against them last year. Well, I mean, Murray's not very good. But then you look at them play Jacksonville State, who's a great great team. They play them all the way to the end of the fourth quarter last year. They beat UT Martin when UT Martin was ranked 20th in the country last year. So you see different instances where those guys are a pretty good team. So we've got to come in ready to play. Um, and I, I use the example of, and you, you guys that have been here a while, I use the example of, I believe, in 2013 when we went and got beat by Colorado. Had, the, had a chance in the fourth quarter. Uh, we're middle of the fourth quarter. We throw the interception on the tunnel screen. They take it back for six. And we have the lead. We're going to score to go up 10. We, we throw the interceptions, a 10-point swing. Now we're down four. <coughs> but why I'm saying that is because the next week we played a UT Martin team that we thought you know, we probably should have beat. Well, guess what? Losing that tough game to Colorado probably beat us two weeks in a row, if you all understand what I'm saying. We've got to guard against that. We've got to guard against that. We've got to, we can't let a Tulsa hangover happen on Saturday. Um, and, and, I'm, and I'm hoping, and I'm, and I'm going to push for a great home crowd, get us motivated, a lot of adrenaline, um, all, all the things that come with the stripes, and then, and then we'll have a short memory and we'll get out, out there and play, play our best game. But um, one thing I, I know is that I'm encouraged. This is going to be a really good and fun football team. Now, are we there yet? No. We're very young. I was talking to several. I mean, we're, we're young. If you look at our depth chart, um, <laughs> we've got some freshmen. We've got some redshirt freshmen, sophomores. But that's what's really fun about this group is they're eager. They're eager to get better. They're eager to learn. Um, they're excited about what's, what's, what the future holds. And we're looking forward to, to get, getting a chance to, to go 1-0 and this week against Murray State. And, uh, and we're going to do everything we can. We're going to put a good plan together. And I know our guys are going to be ready to play. So um, encouraging, encouraging everybody to be there Saturday. I don't know what the weather holds. It looks like it's going to be nasty up until then. But, um, but uh, hopefully we'll get a good, good, good weather report on Saturday afternoon, evening. And, and we'll have a chance to get out on the stripes and get after these guys. Your incredible lives are what make Arkansas so special. That's why doing our part to keep you amazing is our mission. By providing the most skilled doctors and nurses to heal you from sickness or injury and giving comprehensive care to support your recovery, we're your guide to health. All so you can keep on giving, keep on inspiring, and keep on amazing. For the care that keeps you amazing, visit baptist-health.com. Saturday, hey, man. beat up. Saturday, beat up. Saturday, we're state, six o'clock, beat up. We just want to make sure that we're on point with this, that we listen to, to, the, to, to what, we're, what we're coached to do, and we do it. We have like six guys get caught. So um, we got a couple, some guys that are going to dress, and they're going to they're gonna show you how to do it, but I'm going to show you our examples real fast. So first one right here, all right, knee pad. Which one's right, which one's wrong? That's wrong. Oh. Nice. Right, so hey, listen, with these Nike pants, with these Nike pants, they go a little lower, 
Then our Adidas ones did, so in practice, you guys can get misconceived, I have them up here. So make sure that I get my, my, my pants below my knees. Everybody got them? Not below my knees, but at least mid knees. Everybody go with that. Skill guy specifically. Next, next clip. All right, obviously, our boy Zeke, you know, he's got his jersey rolled up. We had some guys, look, pregame, you eat. Y'all can show the abs off, I don't care. You know, they're gonna tell us, make sure they roll down. But make sure your back plate can't be showing, okay? And then and then you gotta roll it down. So obviously the, the right look is this cat right here. Everybody got me? I, you know, so pre-game, you're hot, roll it up, all that junk, you know, that's that's cool stuff. Everybody got me? We gotta make sure we do that. Okay? So we did a we did a little video though of these guys, of a guy doing it how it's supposed to be done. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna show that to y'all real fast. leaders from the Southland Conference's 13 schools get together for a retreat. Before we start another season of competition, there's time to have some fun and bond. We also share experiences of serving our campuses and communities. Together, Southland student-athletes completed more than 30,000 community service hours over the past year. We pull for each other and push to make each other better. Just part of what makes us Southland strong. week features uh, Murray State as we mentioned this is a team that did not has not beaten the Bears ever in the five matchups between the two there is a tie on the record but they got beaten last week Chris handily by Southern Illinois in fact they got pounded 49 to 10 on their home field by Southern Illinois they're a spread attack they're gonna try to spread it around 
and the Bears obviously will have their hands full defensively. I think the key is, and we've already talked about it a little bit, is get to the quarterback. Get Drew Anderson un- uncomfortable. And that's like last what, week. Yeah, apparently yeah. Southern Illinois was able to do that last week, and hopefully the Bears can continue that. The Bears did a pretty good job of that against Tulsa last week as well. They were opportunistic, forcing some fumbles and creating some negative plays for the Golden Hurricane. Yeah, the defensive line last week in the pass rush was efficient. They were disruptive. They did everything you would ask them to do. you got to be able to balance that in the running attack. Now, Tulsa is a good running team, and uh, that was something they had to factor in. But uh, last week, you look, Cardell Best making his return after taking a year off. Looks like he didn't miss much of a step last week. Almost scored a touchdown himself. RJ, good news for you. No rains at this point. Still some cloudy skies, but uh, so far so good. Yeah, not too bad. I think there's a 40% chance of rain during the ball game. And uh, the thing about tonight's ball game, guys, it's going to be humid. Uh, 87% humidity in the air. And uh, according to the National Weather Service, it's 79 degrees, but it feels like 87 uh, with the humidity. So uh, you want to watch for that cramping going on here at Esta Stadium tonight. Guys, Welcome to the strike, Big Daddy! No. I got your back! I got your back! I got your back! I got your back! I got this way! Yeah! I got your back! I got your back! I got your back! I got your back! Boom! Yeah! Beat him like a dog! Beat him like a dog! Hey, listen. Somebody told me as I was walking in, not I don't I don't want any pressure. UCA's won 18 straight home openers. It's gonna be 19 tonight. Yes, sir. Hey, 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 this is where hey, this is like going to battle. You understand? And I wouldn't have any other group I'd go to battle with right now. Guys, these guys don't know what they're about to get into. They have no clue how pissed off we are, how physical we are, how strong we are, how much effort we're gonna put in. Hello. Hey, and I told you, I told you last night, what am I not gonna do? What? I'm gonna What? Send a freaking message! What? Yeah. Send the message! Let's go! Yeah. Yes, sir! 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 Yes, All right, Anderson back to work. He will hand it to Pennick. Bears get a little pressure this time, and a beautiful tackle in there by Reggie O'Dean diving in and making the tackle. It is short. It is caught by Central Arkansas. Centered battle out across the 20, 25, 30. Trying to get by the kicker, does. Out across the 40. Pass blockers in front of the 45 out near midfield. And another outstanding return by an outstanding return man. It's Cedric Battle. Braylon Smith coming off a game that saw him go 17 of 25. Will take over the offense. Play action on first down. Braylon rolling to his right, throwing to his right. Has a man. It is caught at the 32-yard line. And a nice grab right there by wide receiver Lester Wells. Nick's just from right side to left side. Bears snap it, right side, Crossley up the middle, inside the 10, down to the 7 yard line, beautiful run by Kier Crossley, Smith quickly under center, dives forward, did he get in, it's going to be close, they're going to look at it, they're going to sort it out, I don't know if they're going to give it to him or not, Crossley signaling something, <laughs> not with the refs are signaling, touchdown Central Arkansas, after a delay, Braylon Smith is in, his second rushing touchdown of the season. Third long for Central Arkansas here. Braylon Smith directing traffic, setting his guys up. Offensive line calls going out. As a man set to his right side, it's Blackman. Calls for it, gets it. Drops back to pass. Under pressure, throws it. Down the seam, has a man spot at the 29. And down he goes. But it was well enough for a first down. Lester Wells with a catch. And a nice job there by Braylon Smith. 
Running back set behind him is Ware, or is a battle, excuse me, play action. Smith fires it, but after being bobbled by Lester Wells, out across the 45. Defender playing way off of Wells. Smith, play action quickly, outside to Wells. Has two defenders there, they close very quickly, but that's going to be enough to move the chain. So, defenders given Wells plenty of room, plenty of respect. Right side has some room to run, throws late, has a man down the sideline, caught, Brandon Myers. Down near the 20 yard line, and they are going to give him the 20 yard line. And the lone setback is Carlos Blackman. And we'll hand it to him, sidesteps the defender. Now trying to get outside, showing that speed at the 15, through a defender at the 10, down to the 5, a beautiful run by Carlos Blackman. And Chris, I'm not sure if he can make that run last year. He is just a couple steps quicker. We talked about it last week. Smith hands it. Carlos through a tackle, fighting forward in the end zone. He was dead to right in the backfield, and he dragged a defender into the end zone. Something tricky here. Battle going straight down the middle of the field. Smith throws it to his receiver. It's Dwayne Smith at the 35. Goes up, catches it. He's collected. It's not Dwayne Smith. Excuse me, Lester Wells with the grab. He's starting to come down a little more steadily, as Chris pointed out. Handoff. No nope. play action. Over the middle. Caught by Wells and into the end zone. Touchdown, Central Arkansas. What a beautiful throw by Braylon Smith. A dart to Lester Wells in front of the defender, and he had no chance to make a play. Twins left, twins right, ball in the right hash. Anderson drops back, looking right, over the middle. Bears are there, picked off in the end zone. It is intercepted. Imagine life without football. No Friday night lights, no pep rallies, no band. All that time invested to teach young men and women commitment and team spirit, gone. Football, where young men and women compete to be the best. Where bands, cheerleaders, and countless others take part in the team experience. Celebrate the passion that only happens every fall. Join the game. Put him in motion after the back there. Looks that way. Throws to Castillo. Castillo is dead to right to the backfield. Loss on the play. The Bears all over him. Where did Trey Mosley beat you at the receiver? And they hammered him immediately. Bears lead by seven, but the racers threatening once again. Trips receivers left. And a solo receiver to the right side. Makes the handoff to Castillo. In the seat. Has his man again. Ball falling at the goal line. Into the end zone. Touchback. Central Arkansas covers it. A huge play defensively for the Bears as the receiver sadly was on his way in the end zone for another touchdown. He's the one that scored the TD right before the half. All right, it's third and 18 officially. Anderson gets the snap. Finn this time, he's under. He's in trouble. Avoids two sacks. Gets hit late. Drops it off. Has his man. Gets it to his running back. Short gain on the play. Carlos Blackman in the game. Play action. Braylon Smith going big ball down the seam. Has a man. Blackman certainly can do it on his own. We've seen that many times. They will give it to him. Smashes forward. Second effort. Is he in? Yes! Touchdown Central Arkansas! Side. Bears are there. They are really making things tough for the Bears. Castillo on the carry. As swallowing him up. Marcel Marcel Andrew Andrew on the back of the, 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 the interception in the end zone been the difference. <laughs> Hand off up the middle. Bears are there. And oh my, Pennant got absolutely DJ leveled. Carry. Anderson hands it to Pennant. They flip it back for reverse. Looks like he was trying to throw it. He got buried instead. That was Dequan Dallas. And he 
gathered the ball up like he was looking downfield to throw it, but he had no chance to set. Blackman sets it left to Braylon Smith. Calls for it, takes the handoff. Smith looking over the middle. Has Lester Wells again. Out past the 30. And that is his ninth catch of the night. Lester Wells has become a beast. Third and three. Ball to 37 of Central Arkansas. This drive started on the three. Harry Dillard out on the right side. Point Smith in motion. They'll hand it off up the middle. Carlos Blackman driving forward. First down, Central Arkansas. Never a doubt there. Racers waiting. Ball snap. Blackman again. Bounces it to the outside with a stiff arm across the 50 and into Racer territory. So the Bears finally loosening up that Murray State front. Crossley on the left side. Inside the 40, inside the 35, inside the 30. Great run by Kieran Crossley. Explosive. And uh, Murray State appears to have given up the ghost here. Carlos with a chance to take over the lead for the team as he runs through a tackle at the 10. Falls down at the 7 yard line. That was a hard run by Carlos Blackman. That's it. So the Bears go find the first win ever. Under Nathan Brown's direction as the head coach here in Central Arkansas. And the Bears' 20th coach gets win number one. 26-13. Fireworks go off. The Bears can celebrate after a hard-fought victory tonight over Murray State on a tough night in Conway, Arkansas. I just told the guys, just a phenomenal night for them. I mean, you talk about adversity, driving rain, you know, lightning delay, a 12-minute halftime. Uh, but I thought our guys, you know, handled a momentum shift there right before halftime. Um, they came out, and, you know, we did what we had to do. Uh, tough night, you know, on an offensive team. I mean, anytime you've got conditions like we had tonight uh, to, to come away with, uh, you know, pretty good production is, is, is a positive. So I thought our defense handled themselves in a lot of, a lot of tough spots tonight, and then offense was opportunistic when it needed to be. Yeah, 444 <laughs> yards, Coach, on 74 plays. And the running game really was uh... – Having a hard time getting on track for most of the night, but boy, you guys, when you needed it, you salted it away late with that run game. Offensive line got a nice push, and both Carlos and Kiki had some good runs late. Yeah, we, to, to finish off games to be a great team, you got you got to finish off games like this. And I thought our offensive line asserted themselves. You know, we, when it's clean and clear, you know, those first three drives of the game, we you know we we look like a well oiled machine on offense. You know, we just killed ourselves with a couple penalties, but you know, as that rain kept coming down, the balls kept getting more and more waterlogged. We knew we had to pay attention to details and fundamentals and i thought our o-line played with good pad level there late in the game and then yeah. you know when you got a guy back like carlos who can really move a pile and then kier cross who can get around the edge uh that helps the cause and i thought ken collins did a great job taking a couple shots there to you know push us out of the back of the you know backed up uh, where we could have been in a bad spot for a punt or something so all in all man I, just a good night i thought braylon smith played really really good i mean he had a couple of errors but you know, under these conditions, it was a it was a really good night for a second year, or a second second game start. And you guys freaking found a way to do it, and I'm so happy about that, guys. I'm so pleased. But hey, are we there yet? No, sir. We got a lot of work to do. If we want to get to where we want to get, we got a lot to, a lot of work to do. But let me tell you something. You guys took a big step forward tonight. You understand? That's a pretty dang good football. They they are, and they played y'all played your tail off to beat them, and then we had this this junk happen here. So let me tell you something. I'm so happy with you guys. Let's hey, let's get back here tomorrow. Let's get rested up, healed up, run waterlogged, and let's get back to work tomorrow. Hey, hey, got me? Hey, let's, hey, get in here, Ty. Let's count it up real fast. Hey, 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 hold up, hold up. Listen, listen up. All right, now, everybody, hey, this is a big deal. Nathan Brown's your head coach, right? It's your very first win as a UCF. Hey, 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 this guy is a UCA man. He bleeds purple now. Right? He deserves his game ball first win. Hey, 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 I remember this ball forever because look at it, I can't hold it. Great, I don't know how y'all threw it. Hey, hey, that's awesome, guys. Listen to me. Hey, that's what we're about. That's what I. That's all. That's all I want. Hey, I want you guys to have the same love and passion for this deal as, as I do. Because I promise you, I promise you, I will leave it on the field. You got me? Yes, you guys will too. Hey, I love you guys. You too. Yeah, you Come on. 26. 26. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Hey!